Hey guys, it's me, Christine, again, and I'm still a little sick, but look at all the rainbows and the magical glass flex on my nails. These holographic shattered glass nails beat all the shattered glass nails that have ever existed before this. I'm sorry to the girl in South Korea who first thought of the idea of using cellophane on nails as shattered glass because Hollow just trumped you. So first you're gonna need some iridescent cellophane, and I went to Michael's and found both of these colors, so obviously I bought them both because I couldn't decide. I've seen a couple nail artists already try this effect, but most of them used a thicker and more rigid type of cellophane that will make it more difficult to apply to your nail, and it won't last as long, so you don't want that. Don't get the packaging that says iridescent tissue or cellophane tissue or the one that looks like a pack of flat unicorn worms because these are both super thick. What you want instead is this very type of thin cellophane. Mine were labeled transparent or iridescent packaging wrap. And I got this pretty pinkish whitish one that shifts to greens and blues and also this super elegant badass red slash maroon one that also shifts to green and kind of goldish yellow. But wait, what's on my other hand? Oh, I'm distracted by all things shiny. I can't help it. This is Picture Polish Bordeaux by Neil Nails because we are drunk in love nails. I think you mean drunk in love on hollow nails, but I'll let it go this time. Now back to the magical cellophane. I'm pretty sure that if you peeled a unicorn skin off, this is what it would look like. Don't get a sunburn, Charlie. The people are gonna peel your skin. Anyways, I'm doing all this on white and then black fabric because I was really curious how these different types of unicorn skins react on different surfaces. You see, they both have magical properties that react differently. So just cut up your unicorn skin. Don't worry, they just shed it. It's not harming any actual unicorns into tiny little ace symmetrical imperfect pieces and you can just kind of do this butcher technique I learned where you just kind of chop all around in the big pile to get smaller pieces when you're feeling lazy and like you don't want to pick up tiny objects because they're so tiny so much magic in this video so I'm applying my favorite peel off base coat because I really don't want to take cellophane off of acetone. I have no idea how that's gonna go down. And if you were thinking about telling me how ugly my yellow nails are, you don't gotta worry about it because I got a magical unicorn whose powers will turn idiotic haters into a pile of hollow glitter. Next, I'm applying my new favorite drugstore black, which I just discovered in my latest video because I want the most badass holographic shattered glass nails ever and we need black to make that hollow pop. And now it's a Experiment time. It's time to do experiments. First, let's see what the different unicorn peely skin types look like over black. The red cellophane looks greenish and kind of orange. Whoa. Let's try the pink to green unicorn skin. It's also looking green, but a little more blue, but I also forgot how to focus my camera. There we go. Now we can see a clear difference between the red cellophane over black and the pink cellophane. Bring me the hollows, Dexter. We must bring the hollows into the lab. I'm gonna test out two different hollow top coats. The one on the left is more dispersed, like the hollows are further apart from each other, and the one on the right is more concentrated. I mean the one on the top now is more dispersed, and the one I'm gonna put on the bottom is more concentrated. Christine, stop changing your camera angles, you're confusing your audience. Oh my god, I just discovered a magic trick. By putting hollow over the cellophane, it makes it disappear, holy shit. Okay, let's repeat the same experiment, but put the hollow top coats on the black polish first, and then put the cellophane unicorn skin on top of that. Cause you gotta explore all the possibilities. You gotta cover all your grounds if you wanna be a good scientist. So this is weird, even though it looks like I'm randomly applying the pink and the red cellophane all over the map, I was actually just applying the red on the left hand side and the pink on the right hand side. Maybe they were at a slightly different angle on the camera, I don't know. You know, you can't explain all the secrets in the world world when there's unicorns and hollow involved. But oh my god, magical secrets unlocked. Oh my god, are you seeing this? It's turning purple. It's purple. Oh my god, it's purple. Dear NASA, I have made the most amazing discovery to date. When you layer unicorn skins over hollow, the true colors of the universe are unlocked. So obviously I decided to go with the purple magical unicorn witchcraft combination. And I decided to go with the more concentrated of the two hollow top coats because 
Why not go all out, girl? You can find the magical links for these magical holographic top coats that I showed you in this video in the magical description box down below. So after one generous coat of my hollow top coat, while well, it's still wet, I pick up some shards of unicorn skin with a toothpick one by one. I just pick them up by licking the end of it to make it a little wet. And I decided to just place them like randomly with no particular pattern because that's the beauty of the universe. It's randomness. I guess for the coolest effect, try and place them close to each other, but not completely touching, because I kind of like to see the hollow peeking through all around the sides of the glass, if you know what I mean. So sometimes it looks purple and sometimes it's just hollow. Magic everywhere, all the time. Just make sure not to push in or poke in with your toothpick, because then you'll mess up the hollow top coat below. Instead, just gently place the unicorn skins on the wet hollow, and then you can kind of use the side of the toothpick or your finger to smooth it out. And that's it, really. I mean, like, we're almost done. I don't have much else to tell you. You can cut the unicorn skins to fit your nail around the edges if you need to. And most importantly, don't forget to seal this black magic into your soul with a nice generous coat of glossy top coat. I'm using this super shiny awesome one that has a gel effect, even though it's not gel polish. You can find that at the link below as usual. And kind of let that dry for a little bit and mesmerize yourself by staring at your nails for approximately 20 minutes or 30 or 40 or 50, however long you can be entranced by magical hollow for. Well, no, you only actually need five or maybe 10 minutes to let the first coat of glossy top coat dry because then you're gonna add a second glossy top coat. This is very important because you gotta make sure all those unicorn skins are sealed right into your nails. Cause I mean, the unicorns already lost their skin once and they'd probably be really sad if you lost their skin too. Bah, there's so much badass black magic extraterrestrial unicorn witchcraft magic going on on my nails right now. I can't handle it. I mean, look how it looks in different lights. Look at that. I mean, it looks like stained glass, all those magical colors. Rainbow lasers are on my nails. I am now invincible. Back off. Get your own unicorn skin. Look what happens when you shine only one light sideways on your nails. You got all these magical colors popping out. And in the dark, oh my god, I am basically radioactive. So one of the concerns raised by other nail people who tried shattered glass nails was that the cellophane started peeling up within one day. But not mine, heh <laughs> heh, cause I chose the right kind of unicorn skin. You gotta know your unicorns. I wore this manicure for four entire days and that's with a peel off base coat. There was a bit of wear, but this one was totally my fault that I just ripped a piece of cellophane off when I was bored at work. And a tiny bit of chipping on the corners of my nail, but that's partly due to my nails being super curved and susceptible to chipping, especially when I'm wearing a peel off base coat. I also always make sure to seal the tip of my manicures if that makes sense. It helps it stay on longer. But overall, my unicorn skin nails stayed on just fine. And then I sadly peeled them off with my favorite peel off base coat because there has to come a time when you have to part with the unicorn in order to appreciate its eternal majesticness. I had just showered, so I think some soap or something got underneath my nails and made some weird concoction with the peel off base coat. And my peel off base coat face off video is coming next week. Yes, get excited. Now I know you're sad I took these off, but don't worry. They are forever preserved in history because look at this, look at this masterpiece. Well, all right, now it's your turn to do shattered glass nails. But remember, go hollow or go home. See you next time, bye.